South Salvador is one of the biggest and makes a lot of rage. You got a big band. Yeah. And oh I had a lot of Al Criola was one of my pupils. Uh -huh. Had a lot of good pupils. I used to teach them from first I started them off, you know, because they were experienced anyway, they could read. Uh -huh. But I used to use the uh Alban skip uh, trumpet method. Oh that's that's and good. I used to mark the that's positions. Good. And that's how, uh, and they worked with me in a long time. And it's Sal Salvador wrote that, uh, you saw his book. Yeah. Uh, what was it called, Single String Studies? Yeah, well, yeah, Single String. Yeah, and he, he's the only one, when I left, uh, when I came to Miami, I had a lot of pupils, and I knew I had to come to Miami because things that happened. Mm -hmm. So I told uh, Sal, I said, Sal, I give you all my pupils, here's the key, here's my whole thing, here's my studio, I'm leaving, goodbye. Wow. And he still, he remembers that. Yeah. And he calls me all the time, he sends me, oh, he, I got all his records, I must have about 10 records, all yeah. autographed. Yeah. And music now, he, uh, the only one that I don't hear is John Collins. He's a good pupil of mine, too. With, he was uh, with Nat Kinko. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened to him. He was a good player, too. You were telling me about uh, your highlights. You were talking about you used to sub with uh, sub for Tony Mottola. Oh, yeah. Tony Mottola, he is busy doing other things, you know. So I used to do a lot of substituting for him. Uh -huh. With uh, Perry Coma, you know, uh -huh. on the radio. But, you see, I used to, when he used to come to reading, Tony Mattel was a great reader. He could read anything right off. Well, I couldn't do that because I, I, he used to do that every day, so he was used to it. Uh -huh. So every time I substituted for him, they gave you a violin part, then they give you a piano part, then the guitar part. And then from the guitar part, it says jump to the man of the violin and play eight measures. Then jump from the violin to the guitar again, and then they had a stamp on the music. No faking. Well, listen, I did it three, four times. I said, it's not for me, Tony. I don't want to go crazy. So I'll get somebody else. You know, because he was, he couldn't read anything. But I couldn't read it. I had to look at all first. But over there, right away, play. <clears throat> so I had to give that up. And another thing happened. I was working there with WHN radio station, you know, up a lower state building in New York. And I used to go there early because I always want to see my book first. Once I look at it, then I'm okay. Yeah. Because yeah. <clears throat> I couldn't read right off. So I got my book. I got it all straight. And there's a program there. After the third number, there's a little low there, so I play a solo. Okay. Now, Don Albert, he was the con contractor. He used to come drunk in the middle of the broadcast. All of a sudden, he gets the score, you know, with the whole big band. He's and live, he points live out. Broadcast. Yeah, and he points out right on the radio. Yeah. And he points out, play this. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, they, that's, that's, not, that's not right. After all, I. I I rehearsed my book, yeah. and he comes over there, gives me a score. And the violin part had big, long, long notes that you can't find them on a guitar. You know? So that's another thing I had to give up. And then I went with the uh, American Guild of Banjo, Mandolin, and Guitars. And I used to play concerts every year, and they had voted. They voted me most outstanding swing guitarist three years, right. three times I got the trophy. Okay. So that was it. That was nice and young. Yeah. Well, I'm still young. Still but young, still I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> Not as young as Still I play guitar, right? Yeah. Still play. Yeah. yeah. So you like, you like the Giannini you're playing? How, how come you prefer that over like a jazz guitar? Oh, I love to play jazz if I have some rhythm I can improvise. Yeah. Yeah, but now I haven't done it for so long. I don't know if I can do it. I probably could, you know. It's very demanding playing solo guitar, isn't it? 
Yeah, oh yeah. Just solo guitar. Yeah, I play solo. Not the hotel here. You always play solos, but I play everything. I play uh, French songs, you know, the Turkish songs, Italian. And sometimes I sing a song that it's uh, yeah. Not that I'm a singer, but it's funny. <laughs> I yeah. sing Sicilian songs. Just starting out now. Any any good uh, words of advice or wisdom? Well. Uh, the kids today, either they are too good or too bad. There's some kids that play good classic too, you know, with yes. the finger style. Yeah. I get the guitar magazine every month, which they send it to me because I did them a lot of favors. And I see uh, they write things there of Paganini and there's a record in there. And you should hear these kids play technique. Yeah. The Paganini things like nothing. Yeah. Either that, or they're too bad when they start playing with three chord songs, you know what I mean? But I remember when I was my age, when I was 14, 15, there was maybe three guitar players in the world. Now everything is guitar in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I transcribed a lot of things for the Beatles, you know. Yeah. And Briscane Boulevard, I said, uh, I work nice, now I'm a musician. I work with David Williams. You got a day job? Yeah, he says, what can you do? Well, I says, I'll do anything. He says, can you pick lemons? Yeah, I says, I've been married four times. A kid came. A kid came. <laughs> he says, are you Mr. Volpe? Yeah. Yes. Please, Mr. He kissed my fingers. He says, I have all your books. I come from Boston. Just give me one lesson. Uh-huh. What do you charge for a lesson? Well, I says, kid, ten dollars. Okay, just show me this run. This kid ran all over the neck of the guitar. I says, kid, here's twenty dollars. Show me how you did it. 